All right, guys, and so we were talking about authority figures. Remember the fancy word for people that are in charge, right? People that make our rules. Those are our authority figures. And we said that there were authority figures at home, at school, and in our community. And we talked about all the different ones, and you guys have been going around and thinking about authority figures that you might know of that are at home or at school or in the community. And so I want to talk to you guys today about how these authority figures enforce rules. And that just means how they are going to make us follow the rules, right? And so we're going to start by talking about at home, right? At home, remember we said your mom and dad, your grandma, grandpa, older siblings, or your aunts and uncles might be in charge of you there. They might be your authority figure there. And so they tell us, excuse me, they tell us the rules and we have to follow them, right? And if we don't follow them, we get in trouble, right? Some of us might get spankings at home. Some of us might get time out. Um, maybe you get grounded. They take away your toys, right? When you don't follow the rules and they put those rules there so that you can stay safe. Some of the rules they might have for you at your house, maybe they might say, don't jump on the bed, right? Uh, clean up your room, that's a good rule. Um, maybe they tell you to make sure that you um, always lock the door whenever you come home, right? Those are all important rules that you have to follow. And if you don't follow them, you're gonna get in trouble, right? The same thing happens to us at school. We talked about all our authority figures at school. We have teachers, principals, janitors, lunch ladies, and the crossing guards, right? And they give us rules so that we can stay safe too. And we wanna make sure that we follow those rules or we might get in trouble, right? Like your teachers give you rules and if you don't follow them, maybe you don't get to do fun things. You might not get recess, right? And I'm a teacher, right? And I give you rules so that you can stay safe. So some of the rules that I might give you might be that I want to make sure that when we're at school, we're staying six feet away from each other, right? We want to stay six feet away so we don't get sick. If you don't follow that rule, then you're going to get in a lot of trouble, right? Because you could be putting people in danger. We don't want to do that. Um, some things that might happen to you if you don't follow the rules at school, you might have to go to the principal's office. You might get detention. Your teacher might have to call your mom or your dad and tell them uh, that you are not following directions um, and things like that. And we don't like to have to do that. We don't want to have to get in trouble. So it's best to just follow those rules, right? Also in our community, right, we have rules that we have to follow and people that make sure that we follow those rules. Like, when you're driving a car, you have to have a driver's license. Um, you can't drive too fast. You have to make sure that you don't steal things. Those are all important rules in our community. And these people help make sure that we follow the rules. Lifeguards make sure that you know how to swim if you're in the pool. And they help keep us safe, right? If you break some of the rules in the community, sometimes you might get a ticket and you have to pay money. Or maybe even if it's a bad rule that you broke, they get taken to jail, right? Um, if the lifeguard, if you break the rules at the pool, the lifeguard might make you get out and you don't get to swim anymore. There's lots of different things that could happen when you break the rules in our community, right? It just depends on what rule you break and how important of a rule it is. So I want you guys to be thinking, we're going to be doing some work together in class. I want you to be thinking about following the rules, why they're important to follow the rules, and what happens when you break the rules, okay? So be thinking about those things. We're going to do a couple activities together in class with it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!